Hi, I'm Kinyanji Kahonya. I'm 18, farming, and I'm a Kilimayang farmer. And I'm also a student at the University of Nairobi pursuing a bachelor's degree in law. Why did you decide to do farming, being a, a student in law? Being a student in law, I decided to do farming because farming is a passion, it's a business, and it's a lifetime opportunity. It's an experience, it's a life experience. Who inspired you to start farming? Um, I, inspi I got inspired by my grandmother who's been a farmer for the better part of her life. And the money was also part of the inspiration. And many people say they can't farm because they cannot access the land. How are you able to access the land? Um, I don't really think land is much of a problem. You don't have to buy land. I know land is very expensive in terms of purchases. You can start with uh, renting out land and it's not it's very available and it's cheaply it's cheap for your case how did you access the land um my grandmother was kind enough to share a piece of her land for me to grow my crops on and she was also there to teach me so i got the experience from her uh, what do you farm in your this piece of land i grow a variety of things i grow courgettes i grow spinach i grow lettuce coriander cucumber and leek onion why did you decide to do those to grow those type of uh, uh, vegetables that are more of exotic? Exotic vegetables fetch more money. That's more profit for the farmer and for me as a farmer in particular. Then I like having a variety so that if something is not good in terms of market prices, it will be good on the other hand in terms of um, the other produce will be good. And also, you did not decide to go into animal production with animal production the reason why I didn't decide to go there is because you always know what to expect if it's a car you know you'll have to milk at six and you get this number of liters and then in the evening at two you'll still do the same thing I want something challenging I want something that will jog up my mind something that will challenge me something that will keep me raised up and something that will help me grow my mind and broaden it up so like these vegetables, how do you go about it? Like here you can see you have uh, skuma wiki, you have spinach and others. Uh, what acreage do you plant? Um, I think the acreage I plant is close to an acre or slightly above an acre or two for that matter. Um, I grow them, it's fun. It's fun seeing something from a very tiny seedling and then the next you notice it's this big or that big. So. Yeah. And where do you get the information on management and how to grow all these crops? Management information, I get it from programs such as uh, Mkulima New Jersey on QTV, Mkulima Yang on Facebook, and lots of other websites. And I read lots of magazines on farming. You have mentioned about Mkulima Yang. How have you been able to benefit from that platform? From the Mkulima Yang platform, I've been able to put my goods on MSOCO. I've also been able to socialize and interact with in, uh, professional farmers, farmers who've been there over the years. They also help me uh, define my problems, like if my, uh, my crops need fertilizers, I can ask people where I can easily access fertilizer at good fair prices. So it's quite an interesting thing. How do you market your products? Um, so far, Kiki Farm is a brand already, so marketing has not become a challenge, but in the beginning it was a challenge. What I did was I take, for instance, I take produce, um, I take it for orders, I, uh, I give a sample, I tell them this is what I have, this is how much I'm selling it. We negotiate. Before that, I, I also go to the market, I meet market people so they can tell me what the price is, so I can be able to estimate how to sell it. I also vi visit very, very many markets, I go to Wangige, I go to Marikiti, so I can be able to tell them to come to the farm and buy the produce. That makes it fun and easy. Then the other thing is like, how much do you sell maybe per month or per week? Oh my, that's a very, very tricky question. But um, the reason why I have spinach and skumawiki mainly is because of maintaining a constant currency, a constant amount of income. With this, I'm guaranteed that like from this kind of portion, I'll get something like 4,000 a week or something. That keeps me afloat and that enables me to have money to enough to pay my workers and with no stress at all. So you have constant revenue from the sales of these vegetables? Yes, I have constant revenue, but as by now, I'm not selling them in wholesale. I take to orders. I also do wholesale because I have different portions. So I have designated different portions for different things. Like this particular portion is for orders. 
Um, so I call people call me up and tell me, please bring me 40 bunches of this and 40 bunches of that, so I can have a continuity. On average, how do you make per month? Um, that's a tricky question. I'll answer that personally. <laughs> On average, like how much? Maybe from what range? You should range it like from 30 to 45. Per month? Yeah. And what do you do with the, the money you get from this investment? I reinvest the money. I reinvest 45%. I save most of the rest. And I also bring back money to the farm so that I can re make the soil better and I can enhance the farming. And what is the average size of your land that you do farming? Above, slightly above or below an acre or two. Okay. And what is the future of Kenyanjui? The future of Kinyanjui Farmer is, actually it's not my future now, it's the future of Kiki Farm. The future of Kiki Farm is that uh, I'm looking for a future whereby when you think of farming, the first thing that comes to your mind is Kinyanjui. The first thing that you think of, oh my, I want to farm, you think, I need to ask Kinyanjui something. That's the next future. And do you have any message for the young aspiring farmers? For the young aspiring farmers, um, there's a lot of information out there. First of all, seek information. Be quite ready to visit other farmers so you can see practically what they are doing. And you can as well ask for advice. And it's not, it's not a very easy thing. It's very challenging when starting, but it's very enjoyable. So not to worry. <laughs>